Hello, my name is Mike Barnard, one of the pre-sales team here at MyQ, and welcome to my home office. This is just a brief introduction to the video that we're about to watch. This one's been prepared for the Google Chromebook users especially. Essentially, we all know that Google removed Google Cloud Print at the end of 2020, so we thought we would show you the four ways that it's very easy to print your jobs from your Chromebook to the MyQ solution. So stay tuned to find out more. Okay, so let's look at the first of those four ways of printing, and this one we call Web Upload. Essentially, what we're going to do here is upload a file to our MyQ web server, and this can be in the format of a PDF, a picture file. We can even send up Office file format documents as well. Okay, so now we're logged into our Chromebook, and we're going to log into the web user interface for MyQ. Enter our username, and we can use our PIN code. Once we're successfully logged in, we've got our dashboard and you can see in front of you some widgets. The one in the middle is called jobs and there's a little box on there that says print file. Click onto that and we can obviously browse then our Chromebook and pick the file that we want to upload. We've got a PDF file there, but we can upload Word docs, Excel spreadsheets or any for office format. Make any changes to the settings and then click the OK button. And that file is now going to be uploaded to our MyQ server. So we'll just give that a few seconds to update itself. And then what we're going to do now is we'll have a quick look in at the jobs that are waiting and we'll see our file is uploaded and ready to be released on our devices. Okay, so the second way we're going to show you how to print is via MyQ's email to print feature. In this example, we're going to send in a file with an attachment on it. That will be received by the MyQ server MyQ will process that and it'll appear as two print jobs and then obviously the user can log into the MFD and they can choose to release their work. So let's take a look. Okay, email to print. So we're logged into our Chromebook and this time we're going to open up our email client which is Gmail on this one and we're going to send a new email and the destination address is our MyQ print server. Obviously, we'll put that in there, and obviously, we can then put a subject. MyQ allows you to print the body of the email as well as any attachments. So, we're going to attach a file when we upload this. And obviously, as with WebPrint, these can be Office file formats as well as PDFs and picture files. Now, in the example we're going to show you here, we're going to base this on a user that doesn't already have a PIN code. So, the MyQ server is going to send this user a PIN see that pin come in now and this will allow you to log on either to an MFD or to the MyQ web UI. We're going to quickly go on to the MyQ web UI and then what we're going to see here is our two jobs that have come in. So let's log in now, go into our list of jobs and we see one for the body and one for the attachment. Okay, so method three, using the MyQ mobile app. Now, obviously, this needs to be downloaded from the Google Play Store in advance to actually using it. But once it's been downloaded and set up for you, you can just log in and use it. So let's see how that works. This time we're using the MyQ mobile app. I'm going to do this a few times here. What we're doing is clicking on uh, to print a file. So we get the option to select a file. And in the first instance, I'm going to go in here and select a Word document make changes to the settings and this one I'm going to select monochrome duplex and change the amount of copies to two and then I can upload that file and what I'll see is I'll see that up here in my list of ready jobs and there you go so I'm going to go in select print file go in find another one and on this one I'm going to pick up a PDF file which is the MyQ BLI report click on that one once again same thing bring it back make some changes to my settings. On this one, just select duplex and the amount of copies to three. Click print, we'll refresh the screen, and there we go. We'll see that job is ready for us. And for the final one, I'm gonna upload a PowerPoint presentation. So once again, this is actually quite a big file. So I'm gonna go in, browse my Chromebook, pick up that PowerPoint file, click on open, want to go change my settings I'm going to make this one monochrome economy mode duplex just have one copy and hit my print button we'll wait a bit that one will appear 
Now we log into the MFD with our pin code. And when we go in here, we could hit the print all button, but we're going to select my jobs. We'll go in, we'll see those three files all there waiting to print. We'll just pick on one of them, which is going to be the BLI award press release, and we can then release that job. There you go. So the final method we're going to show you is something called IPPS printing. Now this obviously is for the managed Chromebooks only, so it will have been set up for you by your IT admins. But let's have a look at the video and it will show us how to use this uh, way of printing from your Chromebooks. So here we go with IPPS printing for managed Chromebooks. This will have already been set up for us by our IT admins. So all we need to do on this one is open our file in whichever application we choose. Once we've got that document open on the screen, we literally go into the file menu, we can select print. And the most recently used printer will be at the top of the list. But obviously if it's not showing the MyQ one, go into the list, select the MyQ IPPS printer, and then literally just hit the print button. So there you go, four nice easy ways to print to MyQ with your Google Chromebook. Web upload, email to print, IPPS printing and the MyQ mobile app. Obviously all these are part of MyQ for free and more to that if you've got MyQ Smart, our free version, all these options work with MyQ Smart as well.